Get on the platform. I'll do the rest. Hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4. Let's jump back in our bodies. Alright, we're gonna go and see what all this nonsense about uh what they're called. Not sanctuary, that's where we are, the institute. Come on then. On the platform. Can't actually move off. What's gonna happen? Mm. Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption right. of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Okay. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh -oh. yeah, we better hurry. You don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh... Just there for decoration. Okay. okay. Scanning for the institute signal. Let's go. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. Oh shit. Blood. That's not a good sign. Hello. Are we there? Here we are. What's my health doing? Is that bed? Oh, there's a couch. Computer use. Oh, what can that happen? Old holotape. Where's the one he gave us? Network. Is that it? Network scanner. The tape back. Play tape. Hmm. Oh, bollocks. I want the tape back, please. No, I don't want to load on. Have we got it back? Must do. Come on, let's get out of here. Right, we've got to try and find some serum as well, haven't we, for uh, uh, Victor. Don't seem to be anyone about. We don't really want any of that stuff at the moment. This is probably going to be quite a shortish video, guys, because. Okay. Hello. Failed road to freedom. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay. Going down. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. <clears throat> this is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished, but for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are 
unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Yes. Hello. Sean? Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Where's Ivana? Let's go. He stole you. These bad people, they, they stole you from me. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Go Sean. Away. I'm Father. here now. Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Can I open the door? Yeah. Sean. S923, recall code zero. What's that thing? Fascinating. But I have to keep it on there. The child, he's a prototype, you understand. Oh. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start a new one. I am Father. Hello, Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Um, where's my son? I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. Shit. Sure. I am. Your son. Um, it's really you. After all this time. Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. <laughs> it... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this, 
wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Um... Alright, I think for now, guys, I'm going to have to end the video. I did say it's going to be a short one. But next episode, we shall continue on questioning Sean. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. This is Red Fox, signing out.